Good morning, Fruitville Pirates, and welcome back to another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Emmy. And I'm Parker. Today is Mar Monday, March 7th, and the 128th day of school. Today we have Sophia for the pledges. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Now for the Fruit Bowl Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Sophia. You did a fabulous job. Let's see what mystery movie we have today for all our listeners. The number to call on your screen is 50612. We will be answering caller number one. The question is, what movie is pictured on the next slide? Hello, whose class is this? Hello, whose class is this? Miss Wade. And who's going to be speaking? Mia. Do you have the correct answer, Mia? Yeah. Well, what was it? Rumble. Woo! The correct answer is Rumble. Way to go, Mia. I'm getting hungry. Let's go to Scarlet for the menu. Today we'll be having crispy chicken sandwich, matzo pesto flatbread, 1905 salads, steamed green beans, potato smiles, fresh strawberries, fresh pear, applesauce cup, assorted 100% fruit juice. R. Thanks, Scarlett. That sounds delicious. This Friday, March 11th, we will be celebrating the third quarter fleet party in the cafeteria at 845. So send two students to the cafeteria who has shown growth this third quarter. Then, Monday, March 14th through 21st is spring break. There's no school next week. Enjoy time with your family. The following Monday, March 21st, is a professional day. Right instead, autism acceptance event will be on April 30th in the cafeteria. You must RSVP by March 25th. Yearbooks are on sale for $20. Make sure you buy your, yours online or bring in money to your teacher. Third quarter is almost over, so we have an AR update. You have read 66,067,586 words and you have earned 10,667.5 points. Fifth grade is still in the lead. Way to go, Pirates. Keep on reading. The Cat Depot poem or short story is due Friday, March 11th. Make sure to write about your pet and turn it in on time. The word of the month for, of March is courage. Courage is standing up to your enemies as well as your closest friends. Now for Monday's illusion. Which dot appears bigger, bigger? What do you think, Parker? I think the one on the left looks bigger. The one surrounded by small dots looks larger to most people. Now to Captain French for some announcements. I think they were going to say they were the same size, right? It just depends on what you look at, right? I think that's what the ladies were going for. Maybe I took their thunder away that they were going to do afterwards. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, Monday before spring break. We have a busy week this week. I know we have a lot of field trips. Wednesday is walk-in Wednesday as well. And I do know we have some teachers planning to do some planning, so they'll be off for parts of the, this week as well. So that means I need the best for my boys and girls uh, all week. You're working hard. So here's the deal. Mr. French says you work hard for five days. You get then 10 days off for spring break. 10 full days you get off. So give me a hard five days. And then you get to rest for 10, for 10 solid days, okay? So keep make sure you keep them doing that. Also, AR, I see we're at 10,000, almost 700. I got a challenge. So we need to get to 14,500. So that's what I want to do by the end of the fourth quarter. So if we get to 14,500, 
maybe there'll be something that Mr. French has to do that we can vote on as a school if we make our goal. Okay, so 14,500 books. We can do it. We're at 10,000. 700 almost right now so that's a pretty big challenge that means we need to read almost 4,000 books in the last quarter but you can do it and then we'll vote on what challenge you want mr french to do okay am i kissing a cow am i shaving my head but my head's already shaved so we wouldn't do that right so i don't know so maybe there will be a challenge you guys can vote on but we got to get to the 14,500 books first okay you can do it i know we can do it other than that Please make sure you're showing those three R's in everything that we do, okay? I know sometimes we can be like, oh, it's gonna, spring break time. School's almost over. I want to be done. We still have a lot of time left, okay? We still have, I think it's 52 days left of school, all right? And so there's still a lot of school left that we need to learn. We still got a lot of testing to do, unfortunately. We're going to do our best on testing and see what we can do, okay? So I need your best efforts in everything that you do each and every single day, okay? That's within the classroom, that's outside the classroom, and especially if you're outside our campus on a field trip, okay? You please make sure you're representing Fruitville at all times, okay? So that's Mr. French's a Monday message for that, okay? We're going to take 60 seconds and think about how we're going to spend our day, right? Kind of get ourselves collected and see what we can do. So we're going to have our 60 seconds starting right now. All right, everyone, that is the 60 seconds. Like I said, I hope you took that time and thought about being the best version of yourself that you could be today, okay? So that may look a different for all of us, but be your very best today because, as always, like I said, the choice is yours, so make it a great day. You have that power to do that, all right, everyone? All right, everyone, have a marvelous Monday. We will see you later in the week. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Captain French. Today is National C Cereal Day. So get your spoon and bowl ready. Since the 19th century, cereal has become America's most popular breakfast food. Garden Club for fourth graders meets today. And thank you for watching another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Parker. And I'm Emmy. We can have a marvelous Monday. See you tomorrow. Arrgh.